So, Rory is in training. When a fire alarm goes off in a building, what exactly is the protocol for the fire department to come over here and respond to it? When we respond to an automatic fire alarm, we have four apparatus on the road coming to it. One of which is coming emergency traffic, the others are coming non-emergency routine. Each one of the trucks, fire engines and ladder truck, contain three to four people uh, as crew. And then the battalion chief has only one person in it. So what happens if there actually is a fire? If there's an actual fire, if we're dispatched to a structure fire, we, have, we add additional apparatus to the call. Uh, we have three engines, one ladder, one battalion chief, and one safety officer coming. Uh, again, those trucks are carrying three to four personnel. Um, they're all responding emergency traffic, and, it, and they're coming from different parts of the town, which increases the hazards to the citizens, to the students as well, to us. So what happens if there's a fire somewhere else? If we have resources committed to a, a fire alarm on campus uh, and we get another fire, we have to call in outside resources if we don't have enough available. Uh, those trucks must remain on scene until can, they can determine that there's no emergency here before they can be released to respond to other calls. Uh, what are the financial implications of a uh, response? Well, with the number of personnel that are on each truck, uh, come in, we have to pay their salaries, they have to be available for calls and dispatch. Uh, and we also have the trucks themselves that uh, get very poor gas mileage, about three to four miles per gallon as they're, they're responding to a call. So during that time, the trucks are running, they're using diesel fuel. Uh, the town has to foot the bill for the diesel fuel, for the salaries, and then the town and the university work out the finances later on.